ready, I'm ready to go to work. Nick D's has about 200,000 employees around the world, and some jobs are better than others. Here are the 10 worst jobs you can get at McDonald's. Runner. Let's get to work. The runner job at McDonald's is one of the worst you can get if you're not familiar with how everything works and can't multitask. Being a runner at McD's is hard work, and as the name implies, you are guaranteed to get in some cardio during your shift. If you're a runner at McDonald's, it will be your job to keep things moving and make sure everything is organized, packed up, and served to the right customers. A runner needs to pay attention to priorities like allergies, special orders, and even menial things like the family who asks for two different toys in their kids' meal to avoid a fight in the car. A happy meal, we'll get you one of those happy meals. Runners are responsible for checking all the orders, whether it be orders from the drive-thru, over the counter, or online orders. They keep everything organized. The runner is the point of contact between the kitchen and the front of house, and sometimes even needs to settle disputes with angry customers. If you have a thick skin, can multitask, and have a lot of energy, this is a McD's job for you. The Fry Station Work the fry station at Burger Mart. Working the fry station at McDonald's is tough work. It's hot and it's greasy, and if someone comes in requesting a fresh batch of fries without any salt, you will need to clean the whole thing out and make a new saltless batch in record time. McDonald's employees have complained about the fry station for many reasons, notably for getting burns on their arms each day because they must reach into the hot french fry bin as soon as they come out from the boiling oil. There's also a lot of grease when working at the fry station at McDonald's. The hot grease gets on the employees' arms and can seep through the uniform. This leaves fry station employees smelling like french fries long after their shifts are done. What's that smell? Long, soapy showers are needed to get rid of the lingering fry smell. When McDonald's fry station employees store their work clothes at home, they need to keep them away from their personal clothing because the greasy french fry smells will cause their other pieces of clothing to smell as well. Working the fry station at McDonald's is a tough job, but someone's gotta do it. Working the drive through Welcome to McDonald's, can I take your order? The McDonald's drive-thru is a job that takes patience. This is one of the worst jobs at McDonald's, and many employees have complained about the position. When customers pull up to order and mumble what they want in their library voice, it can be a difficult task to figure out what they ordered. Most days, the speakers are easy to hear, but when it's windy or raining, understanding an order is not an easy feat, especially when there's a lot of noise inside the restaurant at the same time or a barking dog in the car. Another factor that makes the McDonald's drive through job a tough one is the elements. On sunny days, the glare from the sun hits the cash register just right, so the employees cannot see the numbers on the screen. And on cold and rainy days, the McDonald's employees get bombarded by the elements every time they open the drive through window. Ah, too cold! Red freeze! Rain in the face or freezing fingers on a snowy day makes for a long day at work. Lastly, patience is important. McDonald's customers expect quick service, and when they pull up to the drive-thru and can't place their order within two seconds, they instantly get impatient, which makes working the drive-thru at McDonald's that much harder. Before we get to more worse jobs, if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. The Cash Register Hi there, may I take your order, please? McDonald's employees rank working at the register one of the worst jobs you can get at McD's because every interaction can be trouble. Most of the cash register interactions go smoothly, but there are always daily visits from customers that just go bad. McDonald's customers don't always understand how coupons work and try to trade them in for items that are not included or try to use them days after they've expired. People cut in line, causing chaos. It's an accident! It's an accident! When orders are a little delayed, customers start to get rude and say mean comments about the employees being lazy or uncaring for their customers. Other things that can get infuriating while working the cash register at McDonald's include huge families with huge orders, sports teams coming in after a game, or bus tours stopping for lunch. This can make register workers feel overwhelmed even before they reach the cash register. We can't forget to include those who pull sweaty money out of their bras or socks, or the customer with the drippy nose handing over their gross and crumpled cash. The Grill Station This party is gonna sizzle. 
Just like the fry station, this is another McDonald's job where the employees come home with burns all over their hands and fingers and grease on their skin and hair. Working at the grill stations at McDonald's can be a mighty task. Batch work is one of the hardest tasks, and McDonald's employees complain about this part of the job a lot. Batch work means frying a whole lot of chicken at the same time, with grease flying all over the place, or cooking and flipping a ton of burgers on the grill during a rush. Oh, I hope I can make it fancy enough! <laughs> Timing everything to perfection and checking to see that nothing is burning while trying to avoid grease splatters and burns make for long work days. Just like with the fry station, the smell of the grease gets into the McDonald's uniform. The smell, which is a combination of fried food, sweat, and maybe even a few tears, is all just a part of working the McD's grill station. Drinks and ice cream. Excuse me, how much for the uh, ice cream fridge but without the ice cream? Do you think making drinks and handling the ice cream machine at McDonald's sounds like a hard job? Well, McDonald's employees do. Okay, making drinks isn't that complicated. You choose the right size cup, place it on the drink machine, and press a button for the right kind of drink. But when there are 20 backed up drink orders, some with ice, some without, and the flavors are all different, it can become confusing for a McDonald's employee. That sounds confusing. On top of that, they need to send the right drinks off to the right area, which ones go to the drive through and which are going to the counter, and all this at top speed. When the soda syrup runs out unexpectedly, the McD's employee needs to rush to the back and change the huge pouch of syrup that weighs about 50 pounds, all the while remembering where they were in the soda lineup so as to not get any mixed up orders when returning to the soda station. Oh, I forgot. If ice cream is ordered at the same time, this employee needs to prepare those as well. Another task that makes this one of the worst jobs at McDonald's is cleaning the ice cream machine. The McDonald's employee in charge of cleaning the ice cream machine needs to take it apart and rinse each piece before putting everything back together and starting a new batch of ice cream. This is a hard job, and it requires a lot more time than most McDonald's tasks. Have you ever found yourself at McDonald's and they told you the ice cream machine wasn't working? It's probably for the simple reason that the ice cream machine isn't completely cleaned and put back together yet. The drink station sounds simple, but it's a chaotic and sticky mess for the McDonald's employee who does this job. Stocking the freezer. Yes, we're all out of tacos, Lair. Those who aren't good with the cold absolutely hate working the freezer at McDonald's. Working the freezer is not a full-time job, but it's what needs to get done when food orders come in, and this happens often. When deliveries arrive, they are huge and consist of mostly boxes that need to be placed in the walk-in freezer and fridge. The McD's employee in charge of stocking the freezer and fridges needs to organize and rotate everything on the frozen shelves while trying not to freeze themselves. The older product needs to be pulled to the front, while the newest boxes must be placed in the back. Other tasks that are part of working in the McDonald's freezer are checking dates to make sure nothing is expired, throwing out past due items, and checking the temperatures of products like the chicken and beef to be sure it's freezing properly. Working the freezers at McDonald's is not for everyone, but for those who work at McDonald's, chances are they've worked the freezer at least once since it's a task usually given out at random. Bussing tables and lobby duty. Prepare the food, set the table, serve dinner, clean up afterward. Have you ever gone to McDonald's and noticed that the floors weren't swept, or the tables were a little dirty, or even that the bathrooms needed a little love? Well, maybe that's because bussing tables and lobby duty are one of the worst jobs at McDonald's. This is basically janitorial work without being called an official janitor while wearing the McDonald's uniform. The McDonald's employee who's in charge of bussing tables and lobby work for the day knows it's going to be a long one. I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. Lobby cleaning and bussing tables jobs at McDonald's is a dirty job. This employee needs to run around all day making sure everything is clean. There's usually more than one employee who's given this chore for the day. Tables need to be cleaned and trays need to be wiped down. When the trash cans get full, they need to be emptied. This includes the outdoor trash cans, too. The bathrooms need to be looked into on a regular basis to check for things like messy mirrors and empty toilet paper rolls that need to be refilled. Toilet paper? Yeah! If there's a play area at the McDonald's location, the toys and games need to be wiped down periodically to keep everything sanitized. 
The worst part about this McDonald's job is when customers don't do their part and leave their trays and food remnants lying around on the tables, which usually includes messy blobs of ketchup and dirty napkins. Another disgusting part of being in charge of the lobby while working at McDonald's is having to clean up the vomit if a child gets sick because they ate too fast and got too excited. Yuck. Prepping. As the patty cooks, our dressers get the buns ready. Prep work at McDonald's is not a job that makes you sick or has you rushing for a warm blanket because you get too cold. It's just a job that requires a lot of time and the work can be very monotonous. McDonald's employees who do the prep work are usually those who come in for the morning shift. The prep needs to be done at the start of each day to get everything ready for the busy shifts ahead. This McDonald's job has the employees cutting and washing the vegetables to be used to make the day's orders, like taking apart the lettuce heads and slicing the tomatoes and onions. The vegetables then need to be placed in a bath of Veggie Wash, a food-safe cleaning agent, to get out anything bad that could be in the vegetables. Vegetable tastes like set anyways. Don't eat vegetable. Afterwards, the veggies are dried off and stored in containers. When the containers are ready, they need to be dated and rotated in the cold fridge to be sure that the older veggies are used first. Mick D's host. I'll perform at your birthday party. Not all McDonald's have hosts, but some of the larger locations do. A McDonald's host is the person you first see when you walk into the restaurant, and they'll greet you as you come in. This McDonald's employee is usually the one who will help you find what you need on the menu or guide you towards the right line if you're looking to order or need help. Being a McDonald's host is not one of the worst jobs that a person can get at the Golden Arches, but it is a boring one. This McDonald's employee is usually tasked to just stand around all day and to make sure that every Everything is running smoothly. Is there something wrong with the food? That guests and employees are happy and that everything is tidy. If something needs to be handled, the host will quietly discuss it with the person concerned to get things handled quickly and discreetly. Order up more great videos. Just tap or click and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.